Somalia's political crisis appears to be over. An agreement has been reached between President Mohamed Farmajo and Prime Minister Mohamed Roble. The last few days have seen intensive negotiations mediated by Southwest state leader Abdiaziz Loftigarin. Formaggio and Roble met at Formaggio's offices Wednesday night and worked out most issues. By Thursday, Formaggio was meeting with Security Minister Abdullahi Mohamed Noor and the Prime Minister's choice for spy chief, General Bashir Goub. They discussed the current and future security arrangements. An official communique outlines the result of the negotiations. First and foremost, the leaders recognized the delay in the election process and the need to expedite polls. The leaders called on the federal member states to begin holding elections for the lower house of the National Assembly as soon as possible. The men agreed to work closely with security agencies to protect elections and fight al-Shabaab terrorists. It was confirmed that the Roble appointed Noor would continue as the nation's security minister. General Bashir Goub was appointed as Minister of State. Yassin Fari was named as acting head of the National Intelligence and Security Agency. Fari was Farmajo's choice. But the president will have to run intelligence directives through the prime minister, through the army commander and deputy commander, and then through the council of ministers before the president can issue a decree. Finally, the case of Ikran Talil, the disappeared digital spy, was addressed. The leaders agreed that the investigation and prosecution of any wrongdoing would be handled independently through the judiciary. All security agencies will be instructed to assist the court as requested. The communique thanks Loftigarin for his hard work in finding a compromise. And it also appears to give an unspecified apology to the people of Somalia. The agreement comes after two months of political wrangling. Initially, Formaggio appointed Roble in charge of elections in May. But after the Prime Minister fired Nisa Chief Fahad Yassin over the handling of the Kran Talil case, their relationship broke down. They appointed rival ministers and spy chiefs and sniped at each other in the media. Now, all eyes are on the states to see if the end of the impasse will move the country forward in selecting its next leadership. ADN-TV will continue to report on political developments in Somalia and throughout the continent.